Lord has made. Glory to God. Amen, amen. Well, welcome everyone. Hallelujah on the phone. Welcome to uh, YouTube and welcome alive here on Facebook. Praise the Lord. This is Dr. Regina Patrick and um, I want to say happy, happy Sunday to you. Amen. So honored to have the privilege to come and break bread with uh, you this Sunday morning. God bless you. Thank you for being here. We welcome you. Got an amazing word today from on high. Amen. Amen. We're going to jump right into the word in Jesus' name. So I want you to grab a pen and a paper, get your Bible. Uh, if you're using your phone as your Bible, <laughs> get ready. We're going to start uh, with the, uh, we're going to talk today about all is well that ends well. Glory to God. All is well that ends well. Amen. And so my subtopic is it ended well. Hallelujah. It ended well. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this time around the word. None of me, all of you, think now through my mind. Speak, Holy Spirit, through my vocal cords. God, give us the ears of the Holy Spirit that we might hear what you are saying to us, your people. Lord God, stretch this video, stretch this recording far and wide. Put it right into the, the hands of and the ears of those that you intend to hear this in Jesus' name. Father God, we just apply the blood right now. Hallelujah. And we ask that you would have your way, that your will be done. We thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. And the church said, amen and praise God. Hallelujah. Well, welcome again. Welcome, everyone. We're going to... Uh, we're going to uh, start in uh, Second Kings. Okay, I want you to get your reference, and uh, we're going to start in Second Kings, and uh, we're going to go to Chapter Four. Second Kings, Second Kings, Chapter Four. Praise God, and uh, we're going to. This is a lot of reading, so I'm not going to read all of it into your hearing today, but the, it starts at Second uh, Kings chapter 4, starting at verse 18 to 37. It's the reference, but I'm going to do a little bit of skipping, okay, because it's quite extensive reading. But uh, this is the, the story of the Shulamite woman, and this woman had uh, was a very, 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 a prominent lady and and she believed the word of the Lord and she was a blessing to the prophet Elisha and so much to the point that when Elisha was coming through their uh, their town the, uh, preaching and sharing the good news that she and her husband built an addition for him, they built a room, the prophet's quarters, so that ever, whenever he came that way, he would have a place of, uh, to stay. And so the prophet wanted to bless her. The prophet wanted to um, be a blessing to her. And he said, well, what can we do for her? What is this she need? And they said, well, she's a, getting up in age and she's never had children. So the man of God, he comes and he prays for her. And... Um, and lo and behold, this elderly woman, getting up in age, conceives, has this child. And so fast forward, this is some period later, the little boy is now, you know, uh, with the, this Shulamite woman, and, and things are going well. And one day he starts to cry that he has a headache. And he goes into the house and literally dies, okay? And we pick up the story there. This She's famous. This story is very, very famous because of her, her, her attitude. Because in the, in the uh, face of tragedy, in the face of something that had been the most devastating thing she had ever experienced, she had a response that blows everybody away. Her response is, all is well. Come on, can you say that with me? All is is well. Come on, let me hear you say it. All is well. All is well. There we go. Hallelujah. So let's pick up this. Like I said, I wanted to show you some of the pertinent uh, key things here. I want to start in, um, 
we at Second Kings chapter four, but I want to skip right to twenty, and then I'm gonna show you a few scriptures. And uh, wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Um, we in Second Kings. Hallelujah, and we in chapter four. Praise God. Chapter four. I want to start in twenty. All right. And then we'll pick up from there. Glory to God. Amen. All is well. Amen. Type that in the chat, y'all. All is well if you're on Facebook. Type it in. All is well. Now, here's verse 20. Take a look at this. It says, and when, now the little boy is sick. He said he got a headache. They say, take him to his mama. And here we pick it up, verse 20. And when he had taken him and brought him to his mother, he sat on her knees until noon, and then he died. So it ain't no, this ain't like he took a nap or he, this baby passed. He, he was gone. He died. And then look at verse 23. And we're going to do a little skipping for the uh, sake of time. But verse 23 says, she goes to her husband so that she could get a chariot. She needs a donkey. She needs to prepare because she's going to go now and Get the prophet, the same man of God who believed God for her to have this child and to conceive this baby and bring forth this baby. She's going to go have a talk with him. She wants him to pray, hallelujah, over her situation. So we pick this up, 23, verse 23. It says, this is her, her and her husband. It says, and he said, wherefore wilt thou go to him, to the prophet today? It is not a new moon, nor is the Sabbath. And she says to her husband, all is well. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Let me skip down to verse 26. 26. She gets to the prophet's quarters and the prophet sends his messenger out. And he says, verse 26, run now and I pray thee, go out to meet the Shulamite woman and then ask her, is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? It's all well with that child. And her re her response was, it is well. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now let me just let me just elaborate on a few things here. All is well that ends well. We see, y'all, 2020. We're looking now at our, our life. We're looking now at our situation. We're looking now and we see crisis. We see cancer. Hallelujah. We see crime. We see COVID. We see massive conflict all over the world, not just locally and not just in our in the United States, but it, it's conflict on every hand. And everywhere we look, it seems like there's chaos and there's crises. And 2020 have dealt some stuff for real. <laughs> but you know what? The Holy Spirit began to deal with me this morning when I said, God, um, I, I Give me the, the word for today. Huh? Give me the word. Most of us by now have heard that the amazing actor Chet Wood a Bowman passed over the weekend of, of cancer. Hallelujah. And we, I mean, Black Panther. Come on now. And we were all taken aback by that. And we were all kind of reeling at that news of the devastating loss of this brilliant actor and bright young man with just an illustrious career, um, massive talent. And from what we read and hear, he was a phenomenal friend, family man, and just a overall good human being. So we see that it's crisis and it's, it seems like it's piling and compiling one thing after another. And when we... When we think in terms of this woman of God, this Shulamite woman, she was in the worst crisis of her life. She was in right in the face of death. It could not have been more tragic. It could not have been more heartbreaking. But yet and still, the reason that we, 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 we she's listed and the reason why we take such a thought when we, we look at this account in scripture it's because it was her response that differed. 
You know, when there's tragedy and when there's crisis and when there's chaos and conflict and crime and confusion, listen, it, it, it is inevitable. We look and we go, wow, how devastating. And our response is sometimes the wrong response. But listen, ladies and gentlemen, we that are named, uh, hey, glory to God, with the name of Jesus, we got to take our cues from someplace other than the world. Come on, y'all need to say amen right there. We need to find our positioning and the way we posture ourselves in the middle of tri in the middle of, of tragedy and chaos and, and crime and confusion and cancer. We need to take our leads from somewhere other than the world because the world is all crying out that this is a wrap. <clears throat> This is pretty much a done deal, and it can't get no worse. And when you look through the eyes and the lens of people that are hurting, hallelujah, they, they point a picture of their devastation because that's all they can see. Glory to God. But we are not those people. The Bible says we are in this world, but you and I are not of this world. And so we got to now take our cues because we certainly need a cue. We certainly need, in times like these, a leader. We certainly need, hallelujah, an example. We certainly need, glory to God, to be able to see, glory to God, amen, beyond the situation. And so the Holy Spirit is telling us, uh, look again, oh, yeah. look again, glory to God. But don't look through the eyes of dismay and despair. Uh, depravity. Don't look through the eyes, hallelujah, of those that have gone down and, and, and to the pit. Hi. We got to look from a perspective that we can see things through God's eyes and we can hear things through God's ears, hallelujah. And if we can see like him and we can think like him, and the Bible said we certainly can. It says, allow or let this mind be in use, the same mind that was in Christ Jesus, let it be in you. That means we got to allow it. We got to do our due diligence to see this thing happen. And the Holy Spirit woke me up, amen, and, and shared this with me. And when we look at this Shulamite woman's story, amen, the last thing that it looks like that, that was happening for real is that nothing was well. It could not have been more tragic. But yet and still, Everybody that she encounters, she said, all is well. Glory to God. Hallelujah. She declares out of her mouth, her confession, it is, it is well. It is well with my soul. It is well, hallelujah, with my soul. Everybody that she's encountering, you would think of anybody she's going to tell the truth to. It's her covenant partner. It's her mate. It's her husband. But she doesn't say, oh, my God, baby. Oh, my God, is awful. I got bad news. She didn't come bearing bad news because she had already made up her mind that that's not how her story was going to end. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You have to make up your mind, ladies and gentlemen. How do you want the story to end? Hallelujah. Because we could end this story the way they said, or we could end this story in glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So she began to say amen not what she saw she began to say what she wanted to see she said it was well glory to God you better get up on this y'all it is power hmm, and what you decree and declare how do you really want the story to end how do you really want 2020 to end hallelujah because the way you want it to end if you want it to end well you're going to have to declare so in Jesus name because all is well that will end well glory to God and we know this story because we got our Bibles in front of us the Bible says she told the prophet, the prophet told his, uh, 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 his companion, he says, go and lay my staff on the boy. And she said, yeah, that's nice. Uh-huh. That's good. But that's not how I want this to happen. You come. 
you come and you you do what you do. Ah, oh, glory to God. And so the Bible says the prophet gets to the house. He sees that the, the his staff, his, his, his companion had gone before him and followed his instructions. He laid the staff on the little boy, but it was just a stick on a dead kid. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so the prophet goes into action. And the Bible says he lays on this boy. He puts his mouth on his mouth, his hands on his hands. Oh, glory to God. His forehead to his forehead. Glory to God. And he stretches out on him and said he laid on him and prayed. And when he got through praying, hallelujah, the Bible said that the child waxed warm. He got warm. Oh, but listen, warm is, is improvement and warm is better. Uh, thank you, Jesus. But that's a long way from being alive. Praise God. And then in verse 34, we see he goes back. The Bible says he walks around the house. He, he's pacing. He's going around the house and he's praying. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And then he goes back a second time. Hallelujah. This is in verse 34. And he does the same thing. He lays on the child, put his mouth on his mouth, his hands on his hands, his forehead to his forehead, and he prays, and while he's doing it, this baby starts sneezing. And then the Bible said, and the child opened his eyes, his eyes popped open, and he was alive. We see that the prophet raised this boy, and then he said, now go and restore him. Take him. Take this thing, this child that was dead. Take this dead situation and now show this baby and restore him. Put him back in his mother's arms. Hallelujah. And you know what? While all this was going on in the bedroom, while all this was going on in the back room, while all this was going on and taking place uh -uh, in that place, hallelujah, the mother was sitting in her chair rocking. And she kept her confession that all is well. It is. Is well. Come on, I need to hear you say it is well. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's well. It's well. It's well. It's well. Sometimes, y'all, you got to stick to it. You got to stick to what you said in the first place. Wow. Uh, don't let don't let your mouth uh, change up on you. You got to stick with it. Glory to God. It is well. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to God. Listen, all of us recall uh, the story of Job. We all know Job's scenario and his situation. Job had a great life. He was a very prosperous man. He was a man of great influence, great integrity. And, and the devil came for him and he told God, he says, listen here, you got to be kidding. The only reason he served you is because of his prosperity. Look what you've done for him. You've built a hedge around him. The boy got it going on. He said, take the stuff and it is a wrap. He will not worship you. He will not revere you. He will leave you and he will drop you like a bad habit. He going to be out. He going to be gone. He going to be through. And God says, not so. Not so. Hallelujah. And and so God says, you could go ahead. You could put the test on. But here's what's going to happen. Don't touch his life. Glory to God. And so it, it goes and it, the devil starts to, to affect him. And he starts to, to, to terrorize him. And the Bible says that everything that Job had, he lost. I mean, y'all, it was one report after another. It was tragedy. It was, it was mayhem. It was confusion. It was crises. It was death. And listen, he lost it all in the twinkling of an eye. He lost his influence. He lost his position. He lost his prosperity. He lost the lives of his children. He lost the lives of his servant. He lost all that made him rich, all his livestock, everything, be one behind the other happened to Job. It was absolutely a devastating time. But I want to bring perspective to this. Job went through hell. Oh, capital H-E-L-L. -L. The devil brought it in and he brought it with force. It was awful. Amen. It was the worst period of Job's entire life. Listen to me, but I got to bring perspective to this story because even though it was crisis and it was critical and it was damnation and it was death and listen, it, everything he went through, let me, let me reiterate something right now. It would last in nine months. Job lived to be an old, old man. 
And this, this critical crisis, this horrific uh, uh, portion of the, his life story was nine months long. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and in his loss and in his crisis and in his this death, huh, well, uh, his children died and his prosperity was ripped from under him. And he went from, listen, having it all to having nothing. Glory to God. So much so that the wife looked around at their calamity. The wife looked around and said, oh my goodness, <laughs> Ain't nothing left. She comes to Job and said, look, go ahead and cuss God and die. Get you a good cuss in. Tell God what a flake he is. Tell God what a fraud he is. Tell God how, how he, he turned his back. Tell him what a, a miser he is. Tell him how wicked he is. She said, go ahead and get your cuss in, baby. Huh? And I'm going to listen. She was advising him. Oh, glory to God. She was encouraging him. To cuss God and die. Ah, Because in other words, it was nothing else to live for. It was nothing else that could go wrong. All that could fail but his own personal death had already happened. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you know what his reply was to his wife? You know what his response was to his wife? Why he's sitting there and he's sick. And he's scratching multiple. He had, the Bible said he had boils so big on his arms and legs and his body that he would take a broken a bowl and cut them to the point of blood. Hallelujah. Why? Glory to God. Why did he do that? Why was his response to his wife like it was? You know what he looked up and said? He said, woman. He didn't even call his wife. He said, woman, you sound like a fool. Uh, you sounded like a fool. Why did he say that, ladies and gentlemen? Why did he call her a fool? Hallelujah. Because he knew that he was still a man of faith. Ah, glory to God. Come on, y'all. You're going to have to make a decision uh, when it's in the crisis and when it looks bad. Mm, 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 mm. Are you going to make a fool out of your faith? Are you gonna are you gonna toss in all that God has done, all that God has delivered, all that God has produced, and all that God has done? Are you going to tie, are you gonna just cast it away and cast in your faith to be a fool? Because it's rough, because it's hard, because it's devastating, because it's 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 a, a moment of tragedy. And this went on for nine months. I want to reiterate something to you today. I want to bring something to you, to you today. I want to share something with you today. Hallelujah. Beware of fools who bring you devastation and tell you that it's over. Beware of people, huh? That's out here saying that the United States is a wrap. Mm, Jesus. Beware of people, hallelujah, that says, listen, uh, this is over right here. It's hopeless and evil has prevailed. Evil is going to win. Not so. Not so. You better get some Job up in you. Hallelujah. You better get some Job up in you. You know what he told the boss? He said, though you slay me, yet will I trust you. There was something in Job that says, oh, I can't, I can't explain this. I can't articulate where I'm at. I can't, I can't put, oh, hallelujah, rationale to why I'm going through what I'm going through. But he said, but this I know. I trust in the God of my salvation. Somebody need to say hallelujah. Glory to God. Do you trust him even when you can't hallelujah? Explain the try when you can you trust him in the tragedy? Glory to God. Can you trust him when it looks like? When it looks like and it even feels like God has forgotten and he's on vacay somewhere and God don't see what's going down and God don't under, God is not in, involved in what's happening. The devil is a lie. Hallelujah. He knows. He cares because he said, I'm never going to leave you and I'm never going to forsake you. Beware of the fools who are crying. It's over. It's over. Cuss God. 
and die. Question God and die. Hey, hey, glory to God. Hey, confront God and die. The devil is a lie. We will trust him even in the places we cannot articulate, even in the places we cannot explain. We don't know why it turned left. We don't know why it went down like that. We don't know why people turned their back on us. We don't know why the money fell through. We don't know why the bank foreclosed. Hallelujah. We don't understand why the job pink slipped you. We don't know why what we had, hallelujah, is now gone. We don't know why the friends betrayed us. We can't always explain things. We can't always articulate, amen, the tragedy. Oh, hallelujah. But yet we can trust in the Lord. For evil shall not win. Come on, I need y'all to type that in. Evil shall not win. Hallelujah. This thing ain't over. This thing ain't over till God says it's over. And it'll never, he'll never say it's over until he wins. God wins. You know, the devil thought he had Jesus because they had killed him. And he was dead and gone. And they was throwing a party in hell. Hallelujah. And they thought it can't get no better than this. We then took the son of God down. Oh, but it wasn't over. Huh? You shake him, do it up on Sunday. It wasn't over over y'all cause all, it ain't gonna never be over till God prevails. It'll never be over till God wins. The game ain't over. Hallelujah. I don't care what the score look like. It ain't over till they blow the whistle. Hallelujah. And all is well that ends well. All is well. All is well. You just gotta wait. You just gotta be patient. All is well that ends well. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody say all is well. All is well. All is well. Hallelujah. It is all well. Look, 2020 ain't over. It ain't over. Don't throw in the towel on 2020. Don't throw in the towel on God. Hallelujah. God's not done yet. He's not done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is not over yet. It is not over yet. Listen to me. How many of y'all, come on, let me see some hearts over on Facebook. How many of y'all remember DVDs? <laughs> remember DVDs <laughs> when all of us had DVDs and DVD players? Amen. And on the sign, uh, they would always have on the DVD, you go buy, it, the, rent a DVD, and there was a big yellow ticket on, right on it, and it says, be kind and rewind. Why? Some of y'all know young, too young to remember DVDs, but for us that remember DVDs, amen, why was that such an important part of the DVD? Why? Because if you didn't rewind and you popped the DVD and the previous person didn't rewind, that person, the next person would be able to see the ending huh, at the start. Mm -hmm. The next person would see how it ended. <laughs> Even before it start, you start, even before you know the climax, even before you know the plot, even before you can get into the twist of it. You know, my daughters are writers, and uh, praise Jesus. My, my daughter, Tony, and I, when, when I, we watch movies together, praise God, when Tony and I watch movies together, it's interesting, because Tony would tell me, oh, so-and-so did it. <laughs> So and so did it, and she'll say, "It's going. This is what's going to happen." And I look at her, and y'all, sure enough, sure enough, just like, "Amen." At the end of the movie, that's exactly how she predicted. And then she said, "Mama, I'm a writer. I write plays. I write scripts. I know the formation. I know how it's going to end." And so Tony don't be freaking out. Very rarely does she watch something that they have a plot in the middle or a twist in the middle that throw her off. You know why? She see it. Huh? She she know where they're going. Glory to God. And she understand how, how, they, how they write scripts. Well, listen to me. God had written our script. God has written our script to our life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he's the author and the finisher. He's the author. Author means the writer. He's the writer and he's the finisher. He's the completer. But here's where it gets interested. He allow us to co-write. Oh, y'all better come on. He's the author and the finisher. Listen to this. He's the author and finisher of our faith. And so, y'all, when we yet believe him, 
Even when we don't see him, hallelujah, when we yet trust him in the middle of the climax, in the middle of the twist and the plot of our life, even when we don't understand how that part got written in, like, whoa, that threw us. Oh, come on. It's just going to make things interesting. But listen to me, hallelujah. When you when we watch them DVDs and we saw the, 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 the ending at the start, you never freaked out in the middle of the movie. <laughs> you didn't freak out in the middle of the movie when the cliff when the car went over the cliff or when the 18 rattlesnakes was converging on the hero. You didn't flip out. You didn't freak out. Amen. Why? Because you had already seen the ending. And you know the hero. You know the shero gonna win in the end. Come on, you know the champion's gonna win in the end. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Listen to me. That's why you and I cannot freak out over 2020. We cannot freak out over the economy. We cannot flip out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because all is well, y'all, that ends well. And God needs some people that you stay. Oh, how you shake on that. You need to. Oh, I might as well go and yield to this. Come on, y'all. Y'all to pray in the Holy Ghost. Give God about 30 seconds. Say your praise language. Give God about 30 seconds. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Listen, all is well. That will end well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. And this shall end well. When Job lost everything, family, life, property, influence, respect, servants, assets, amen, everything was gone. You're talking about PTS. Mm, mm. You're talking about having a, a crisis. Oh, hallelujah. But you know what? Job couldn't explain it, but y'all, he trusted God. He never lost his confidence in the Lord. He never gave up on his faith. He never turned his back on God. He said, though you slay me, yet, yet, hallelujah, I'm going to trust you. And you know what? It was a time of testing. It was a tumultuous time of testing. It was a time where the plot thickened, hallelujah, and it lasted all of nine months, glory to God, hallelujah, it lasted nine months, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, glory to God, I just feel the Lord in this place, God, hallelujah, hallelujah, so after nine months, hallelujah, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, after nine grueling months, nine grueling months of his life, hallelujah, it came to an end. It was over. And guess what? Job lived 140 years. 140. So for nine months out of 140, for nine months it took a twist. For nine months it took a turn. For nine months, hallelujah. But listen, it wasn't over. It wasn't over. And in fact, God gave him a brand new beginning. Anybody needs a brand new beginning in Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me encourage you that what you've been through, you can get through. What we are going through, we're going to get through in the name of Jesus. All is well that ends well. And for Job, it ended well. 140 years was his total life. But for nine months, it was a jacked up mess. Hallelujah. But Job had this in the midst of his heart that this too shall pass. Y'all, we got to get some tenacity in us about 2020 that this too shall pass. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. And God restored everything that the devil stole from Job. God gave it back, glory to God, and he gave it back double for his trouble. Come on, I need y'all to type in all is well, all is well if it ends well. Hallelujah. All is well if it ends well. Glory to God. I want y'all to understand that that should be your attitude today, that you and I should not let 2020, hallelujah, take us out. Don't let the devastating lies and the tricks of the devil, amen, detour you from the truth. Because you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. 
this too shall pass. Can y'all type that in? This too shall pass in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. This too shall pass. 2020, don't let 2020 separate you from the love of God. You know, we don't want to be like Job's wife. Ah, uh, don't you cut it. No, 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 shut that. Don't you cast away your faith. Don't throw in the towel of hope. Hallelujah. Listen, hallelujah. Don't let 2020 separate you. All the churching you done did. All the prayers you done prayed. All the hours you done spent in church. All the times you done gave. All the help you've been. Hallelujah. Mm, yeah. Don't you let 2020 make a fool out of you. You could choose foolishness like Job's wife, or you could choose faith like Job. Ah, hallelujah. Give me an amen. Somebody let me know y'all hear me. Did everybody hang up? Is everybody gone? <laughs> Come on, church, say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, my grandmother, my grandmother, we called her Mama Scott, was an incredible woman, phenomenal woman of God. My grandmother lived her days during the Great Depression. And she and her family and her husband, they suffered immense, immense loss in the Depression. And the struggle was real. In the middle, during that, that time, during the Depression, oh, glory to God. And smallpox had hit. And y'all, it was devastation in the earth. Tuberculosis had hit. In that time era of her life, and it was a it was a complete and total pandemic. Ah, shande de 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 My dear grandmother lost not one but two children during that time. Two of her, her both of her twins died. Can't even conceive that kind of of disparity. I can't even conceive in my mind what my dear grandmother her huh, went through. But bless her, hallelujah. Bless her, it was tragedy, and it was loss, hallelujah. But I want y'all to know something. I want you to hear me well, because I was a living witness to my grandmother's life. And though she lived through those turbulent times and those uncertain era and those uncertain uh, 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 economic times, oh, glory to God, hey, Shanda, my shekororobosota, and she saw first-hand tragedy and lived it. But I want y'all to understand that, that it did not define her entire life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She It did not define the woman that she would be. Hallelujah. She continued on with her life and continued to raise her children that she, that she was left with, and she did an incredible job doing it. Come on. She did it without some. Some had died, and she did it without a, the help of her husband, who died way too young. Hallelujah. But my grandmother, hallelujah, she was a living testimony to the goodness of God. And that era of her life and those tragic circumstances of her life did not define her entire life. My grandmother lived well into her 80s. Hallelujah. Amen. Maybe 90. I got to go back and look at it again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And she had many fulfilling, dynamic, happy years. Come on, somebody. Say amen to that. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, things impact us, but they don't have to, and they don't have to leave us on the sideline of life. Yes, this is not the first time of history that people, it's, a, it's our first time, but it's certainly not the first time of horrific situations and circumstances, mm -hmm. hallelujah, happening. But God sent us for such a time as this. Y'all, we are anointed. We are anointed 2012, 2020, amen. We're anointed for 2020. Mm -hmm. We can get through this and all is well, but you got to now get a determination in your inner man that this shall end well, glory to God. 
Ah, then me and mine, we're going to make it. Hey, Shanda. And we're not just going to survive. Come on, get it in your mentality like Job. I still trust you. Come on, can we come out of 2020 with double for our trouble? Will anybody dare to believe God? Oh, God, I won't just survive. But God, I trust you, the Holy Ghost, enough to say I'm going to even thrive. Come on, don't you allow this thing to defy you. Don't you make the devil's foolishness and the crisis. Hey, hallelujah. Uh, and the crime. Glory to God. God, hallelujah. Don't allow, amen, the conflict and the COVID. Don't let it define who you're going to be. Hallelujah. God has already said that you're blessed in the city, blessed in the field. You're blessed coming in and you're blessed going out. So we came into 2020 blessed. Let's go out blessed in Jesus' name. Somebody say all is well. All is well. You say, Dr. Regina, listen, I got a word for 2020, buddy. I got a word for racism, buddy. I got a word, hallelujah, for the United States of America, hallelujah. I got a word for COVID. I got a word for crises. I got a word for all the conflict. Listen to me, my word is I have a covenant with the living God, hallelujah. And by the authority of the Christ in me, I decree and I declare in Jesus' name that all is well. Dr. Regina, you got to be lying, girlfriend. Come on, you know you lying. How can you say all is well? No, baby. No, baby. I'm not lying. I'm prophesying. Hallelujah. I'm prophesying. I'm speaking into my future. I'm speaking to 2020 that don't even try it. I'm speaking to 2020 that you are lying. The truth ain't in you. I'm speaking to 2020 that you will not defy me. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I'm speaking up for my grandchildren. Come on, somebody. I'm speaking to those Shekha. I'm speaking life over death. And I'm speaking to my destiny. I'm speaking light in this complete, utter darkness. And I'm speaking peace. He's in the middle of this panic. Somebody said all is well as long as it ends well. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your support. I appreciate it. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm not lying, ladies and gentlemen. I'm calling things that be not as though they already are. I'm calling things that be not as if they already are. We can call the things, amen, listen, you got a choice today. You can look at this, and you can size it up, and you can call things for what you see, or you can call things for what you want them to be. You use your mouth, and with your mouth, you can bless, or you can curse. Hallelujah. You stand out. I had an uncle who lived his own life his own way. He did his own thing. <laughs> he really did. And <laughs> just a few months, a few months before he went home to be with the Lord, I went to visit him. And me and him laughed and talked. <laughs> we had the best fellowship, y'all. I ain't kidding. And while we were laughing and talking, I asked the Holy Spirit to slide the opportunity in for me to talk about Jesus. So while we're in the middle of our laughing and talking, and this man, he was a good guy. <laughs> he was a very kind person and a good guy, but he did his own thing. I promise you, he lived life on his own terms. But in that final conversation that I had with him, he gave his heart to Jesus. And y'all, when he passed, he went straight home to be forever with the Lord. One day, I'm going to have the party of parties in heaven. Amen. And you know what? I preached his home going. And when I preached his home going, because so many people were not there, and they didn't hear this private conversation between me and my aunt. <laughs> but listen, glory be to God. Hallelujah. He accepted Jesus. And when I did his home going, my sermon that day was all is well, mm -hmm, as long as it ends well. And y'all might not know this, so I was decreeing and declaring that his beautiful homegoing celebration that I got good news up in here, up in here, that this man, I tell you today, is with Christ Jesus the Lord. Hallelujah. And they cheered and people stood up and they gave an ovation to God. Hallelujah. And we cried and we laughed and it was a 
blessed moment. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It ain't how you start, ladies and gentlemen. It's not even the plot and the plan and the twist in the middle. Thank you, Jesus. But it is all well as long as it ends well. I want to say this to you under the sound of my voice. Don't you throw in the towel because God's not done. Don't you give up your faith. Don't you sit around and be pitiful and look at the crises and the chaos and the conflicts when you sitting over here on a covenant. You having a covenant with a real God that can make real change. I'm telling you, God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all the circumstances of what we see, we can think, dream, or hope, or experience. God turned it around. He turned it around. He gave Job double for what he experienced, and I'm expecting the same thing. I'm expecting for those that trust in the Lord, you're going to come out of 2020 on top. You're going to come out, hallelujah, thriving. You're going to come out, but you're going to have to defy what you see and defy what you hear. And you're going to have to defy, hallelujah, what they saying. You're going to have to, those that are saying like Job's wife, Cursed America. Mm. I said, no, God bless America. I need God to bless America. I shall not curse the nation where I got to live and my kids and grandkids got to live here. I will not curse what I got to be blessed in. Oh, shake up. Come on. I can't curse. I can't curse. Like, Jed, like Job, I choose to bless God. I choose to bless God. I trust him. I can't articulate what's happening in the nation. Oh, you can't make no sense out of hatred. You can't make no sense out of foolishness unless you are a fool. Mm. But we're not fools. We're going to cling hard to our faith in God. We're going to lean not to our own understanding. But in all of our ways, we're going to acknowledge him. And we're going to yet praise him because all is well as long as it ends well. You that are under the sound of my voice, this can't possibly end well if you don't know Jesus. Y'all, this is a trying of our faith. This right here is the plot in the twist to your faith. Hold on. Don't let the fear cause you to be foolish. Don't let the fear cause you to fight. You cannot fight a battle and win if the battle ain't even yours. The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. Let Jesus get in front of you and fight the good fight. He fights. It's not our battle. It's the Lord's. You got one fight. A good fight of faith. So that you don't be end up a fool and cuss the God of your salvation. And I want to add this before I close. Not only is it horrific to cuss God who's been give good to you. The fact you say, oh, well, we've lost so much. Listen to me, child. The fact that you ain't lost everything is because God's grace is on you. Jesus, we can't explain some stuff, but we do know God is good. God is good. No, life ain't fair, but God is good. And favor ain't fair. People that don't deserve this stuff, they don't deserve all the goodness, but they're getting it because favor ain't fair. Mm. And God is just beginning. And I can see something. I'm dreaming a dream. I got a vision that God's going to flip the script. Come on, somebody. God is going to get the last laugh. Evil shall never prevail. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. You keep on being human. Keep on being kind. Don't let the fools tell you, cuss God. Let's go for some. Yeah, I'm going to go for some on my knees. Hmm. Yes, Lord. I'm going to go for some in the heavenlies. Yay, God. Hallelujah. And like my grandmother. This will be a portion of my life. As I live on, hey, y'all, and I got many, many, many more years. This will be a portion of my life. Hey, 
And I want my kids, grandkids, great great kids to go. My grandma got through that thing, baby. And she was still preaching the gospel. And she was still lifting up the blood stained banner. Oh, I don't want them to say, Oh, my grandmother got so discouraged. She went into depression and she died of depression. What? The devil is a lie from the pit of hell. No, the devil is a lie. Uh, 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 uh. I will live here either to the rapture come or to well I'm I'm satisfied. Because the Psalms 91 verse 16 say with long life will I satisfy you and show unto you my great and mighty salvation. I'll be here till I'm satisfied. I'm going to do everything God told me to do. Come on, somebody to say all is well that ends well. Come on, I need you to make a declaration in the spirit. Say, for me and my house, this shall end well. Come on, open up the phones. Let's go. Open up the phones. For me and my house, this shall end well in Jesus' name. For me and my house, this shall end well. This shall end well. Come on, you're not lying, baby. You, you, you're not pipe dreaming. You're on your faith thing. Faith over fear. Hmm. Faith over fighting. <laughs> yeah, God. Yeah. A covenant over COVID. Come on, somebody. Covenant over conflict. I got a covenant with God filled up with benefits. I tag on to them benefits. Glory to God. With long life will I satisfy you and I will heal you. And I redeem you from every curse. This thing is a curse in the earth, but I'm not under the curse. We're here. Hallelujah. We're here and the devil ain't finna run us off in Jesus name. All is well that's in words. Father, we thank you. Thank you for this word. All is well. All is well. I decree, I declare all is well. I speak out of my mouth over my health, my life, my finances. All is well. Come on, y'all. Just start saying it over your life. All is well. You can never have. Hey, somebody. You got to declare it. You're going to have what you say. If you say it's jacked up, you're going to stay jacked up. Come on, say it. All is well. All is well. Decree all is well over your finances. Decree all is well over your, your, your relationships. Decree all is well. All is well. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Uh, this COVID, this, this COVID, a thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your other hand, but it shall not come out of you. You know why? Because all is well. It's well. All is well. Make Jesus the Lord of your life. Now, I want to talk for two seconds. You already say, beautiful, but still you need to make Jesus the Lord of your life. If you're worried and you 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 dismayed, you're ready to throw in the towel, let Jesus be the Lord over your life, your thoughts, your attitude. Because he'll switch things up, baby. And you'll start seeing things through the eyes of heaven. And you will know that you know that you know that this too shall pass. So those already born again, let Jesus be the Lord of your life. For you that never made Jesus the Lord of your life, baby, listen. Best thing ever. Uh, best thing ever. He's not just your ticket into heaven and away from hell. But he literally, literally will be your prince of peace in the middle of a pandemic. You can have peace. You can stand on the word for every promise. Your healing, your emotional health, your spiritual health, your financial health. God is God and he's a God that shall not ever play with you. He don't play no games with you. He's God and he cannot lie. Echo Shanda. Give your heart to Jesus. Just repeat this. Jesus, I believe in you. Come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in the blood of the Lamb. I believe you died on the cross. I believe you rose from the dead. Make me, make me, Lord, your own. Hallelujah. Listen, you prayed that very simple but sincere prayer. Then welcome to the family of the living God. And I got news for you that's great. All is well. Huh. And for you, it's going to end well. And this too shall pass. This too shall pass. There will be a day where we will be looking back on this. Glory to God. Analytically 
looking back. And when you look back, are you going to look back from failure, a position of failure and foolishness, or will you look back to what I came through in faith? I choose faith. I choose faith. I'm going to trust God like Job. And they that trust in the Lord, hallelujah, and know they God, they shall do exploits in Jesus' name. If you receive that today, come on, on Facebook, let me see your hearts if you receive it today. Amen. Those on the phone call, let me hear you say all is well, all is well. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. YouTube, YouTube, come on. YouTube, come on, put it in the comments. All is well in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm Dr. Regina Patrick from Life Changes Ministries. We want to be a blessing to you. We are here to support you. We're here to let you know that Jesus loves you. Jesus is for you. He ain't going nowhere. He'll never leave you or forsake you. We could be a blessing to you in any way. Just reach out to me. Amen. Leave it in the comments. Leave it in the DM. Amen. Let me know how we can be a blessing and an encouragement to your heart and soul. For those of you, amen, who are sowing, amen, sow into this. Life changers, hey man, we going forward and we going ahead. So, don't stop doing the right thing. Don't get weary in well-doing. Sow your best gift. Sow your seed. Amen. Continue to honor God. Amen. With the principles of Christianity. We are givers. We are givers. We give because he gave. We can't buy jack from God. Can't buy blessings. That's the most ridiculous, asinine thing on the earth. You can't buy God's goodness. It's his grace that keeps us. You're not buying nothing from God. Ain't even possible for you to take a carnal manner, money, and, and buy God. You can't persuade him in no kind of way with nothing but your faith. Ha! Huh. So we give because it's a part of his teaching to us to give and be a blessing. So so today, amen, so today, it's a cash app that's available. We'll post it, amen, right here. Let the Lord use you. God bless you, tithers. God bless you, givers. And God bless his people. And for the first time, I'm going to uh, uh, include something that I had not said. God bless the United States of America. I love this country, and the devil can't have it. He cannot have this nation because we are here. We are the people of the living God, and we will not allow evil to prevail. It's not going to happen. God bless you. Thank you so much for your time. Have an amazing week. Amen, and praise Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.